Welcome to the Gospel Cast! I'm Chris. I'm Heather. On this episode, we're going to take a look at one of my very favorite characters in a new artistic form. He's amazing. I can't wait to show you. But first, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post new content like this right here. Because sometimes you're like... Like it was getting away. Like it was running from me. I, I couldn't catch up. I saw. So the Mad Titan is here from Unruly Industries. I have been wanting this guy for so long. I'm so, so happy that he's here. Thanos is my very favorite character, as we already know. And I call this guy Gorilla Thanos, because he looks like a gorilla. He does, but way cooler. This isn't the only version of this Mad Titan Thanos. They also have a black one and a white one that are oversized, much larger. And those two are really cool. I think they're around $300 a piece. Is that one a black one or is he like a dark purple? They have a galaxy one as well oh. that's exactly this same size okay. at 150 buckaroos, baby. I thought he was 300 No, the big ones are 300 The smaller ones this size are 150 So Unruly Industries also makes a bunch of other Marvel characters like Deadpool and Miles Morales. I love the art style of Unruly Industries. They make a bunch of other kind of characters that are like, car like cartoon-esque kind of characters. Um, and they have some characters that are very brightly colored and really cool looking under a black light. I really like what they're doing, but this is the very first piece I've received from Unruly Industries, and I cannot wait to see what he's like outside the box. Heather, are you ready? No. All right, so upon opening this box, we see it has some stones, infinity stones. How cool is that? that so is the artwork awesome. on the box looks pretty cool. There's a big uh, Thanos head back here. And then on the sides, we have some like energy looking stuff. Of course, Thanos up front, energy stuff there, and Mad Titan, whoops, Mad Titan on the top. And then, which reveals the infinity stone. So that's cool. I've been wondering just how heavy this figure is. And he feels actually lighter than I thought he would be. He's not that heavy. Not as heavy as I, I thought he would be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's awesome. How do you feel? Oh, yeah. He's really light. Yeah, he's not heavy at all. Wow. He is cool. So, the art style on this guy is really neat. Did his hands turn? That one turned. Oh, it turns. Yeah. They both turn. Okay, so you can kind of position him in different ways, I guess. But I, I like when he has the flat. There we go. Like these flat hands. This is an interesting take on Thanos. Yeah, very. He does look like some sort of gorilla or ape. Like that's kind of the stance that he has. He looks big and um, he looks uh, menacing. We have the Infinity Stones down here as well. And uh, the Infinity Stones are cool. You know what would be really neat is if these happen to light up. That would be really that, cool. That would, have, that would have added a little oomph. His little head moves as well. And then on the underside, You'll see that it says Marvel, Unruly Industries, Sideshow is down there, and of course, Made in China. I like the shininess and the glossiness of the armor pieces. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see that this is more of like a matte kind of color on the sides and on his face. And that's a really neat looking face that he has there. I love the face. I love the chin lines that he has down there too. I love that this thing isn't su super heavy. Yeah. I was really concerned that this thing would be bulky, heavy, and I don't know, just kind of a pain to lug around, I guess, like moving it around or putting it on a shelf. He's really, really light. So you could put him on a shelf that may, might not be able to support a lot of weight. Yeah. This is a really, really neat figure. In fact, I like it so much that I almost want to get either one of the bigger ones or the Galaxy one. The I Galaxy love one the is Galaxy really one. cool. The Galaxy one is cool. It's colored the entire body. Uh, it's like it looks like a galaxy and the only thing that has color to it are the stones on his hand Yeah, or on his gl uh, infinity gauntlet. Yeah, I mean that would be my second favorite But this one is my first just because it's Thanos. Yep. It's Thanos. I love the classic colors I like the classic look and I like the cool take that unruly industries has given him Yeah, he like who even dreams that up? 
It, well, exactly. And what it's I like violent. about it so much is that it's so much different from any other Thanos piece that we have. And I have a lot of them, ranging from Funko. We have some uh, uh, action figures and stuff like that. Hot toys. Hot toys. This guy is different from all the rest. And remember, he's on Sideshow right now for $150. Guys, what do you think about this awesome new Thanos Unruly Industries figure, vinyl figure? He's amazing. He looks great. Uh, I highly recommend it for any Thanos collector out there. Requires this piece to be up on the mantle. We don't have a mantle. Let us know what you think about this guy and more in the comment section down below. Also, do you have a favorite Thanos figure? What is it? Let us know. Guys, remember as always, we hunt together. Yes, we'll catch you next time. Bye.